请 WHO 前 WHO 副总干事 Mrs. Jacob 的寄语，来自于世世界卫生组织的副总干事祖萨纳雅卡布女士为我们论坛的寄语，有请。Excellencies, colleagues and friends, I would like to congratulate the Center for China and Globalization. For bringing international young leaders to the table to engage in global governance through the Global Young Leaders Dialogue, young people have a critical role to play in the unprecedented challenges that the world is facing today. WHO will launch this summer the Youth Council. That brings together young people from health and non-health backgrounds from all over the world to provide advice to the Director General on global health and other health and development issues. Today, at this forum, young achievers, global leaders, policymakers, and change makers will come together to discuss the global recovery towards a shared future. The COVID-19 crisis has taught us many lessons, including on the importance of drawing on local and youth expertise, and on the need for the research community and policymakers to collaborate with these groups at a global level. We must work together to strengthen the world's defenses against future pandemics, humanitarian crises. Climate change and other health emergencies, so that we can mitigate their impacts on health systems, societies, and economies. Thank you for your continued commitment to listen to young people, learn from them, and be guided by their ideas to build a better future together. Thank you very much. We want to thank、uh, Madam Jacob, Deputy DG of WHO. And now I'd like to give the floor to UN Secretary General's Envoy on Youth, Madam Jayathma's message. And I am the United Nations Secretary General's envoy on youth. I am pleased to join you today for this Global Youth Leaders Dialogue Forum. It is especially encouraging to see so many dynamic young leaders from across the world who are driving positive changes in their life, workplaces, communities, cities, and countries for this meaningful and unique dialogue on youth leadership in tackling pressing and global challenges. Congratulations to the organizers for convening this important gathering. In many ways, we are at an inflection point in history. The COVID-19 pandemic has served as a wake-up call, and with the climate crisis also looming, as well as social unrest constantly emerging, the world is experiencing its biggest shared test since the Second World War. Yet, even in these difficult circumstances, young people around the world are taking initiative in envisioning a shared future that works for all. It is young people like yourselves who are leading us towards the world that we all want by advancing the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals using your creativity, your resilience, and your perseverance. But what is the shared future that we all want? It is a world that ensures every young person is empowered to achieve their full potential with the support and resources they deserve. A world that recognizes young people's positive contributions as agents of change. A world in which the human rights of every young person are realized, regardless of their gender, skin color, ethnicity. Or identity, a world where everyone shoulders their responsibility of building peace, respecting the harmony between human beings and nature, and celebrating 
the diversity of our human civilizations. To make this vision a reality in near future, youth today, more than any other generation before, know that we cannot wait for incremental change. That is why online and on the streets, young people are routinely stepping up to advocate for systemic and long-term transformational change that disrupts the status quo. The remarkable aspiration, innovative spirit and practicality I've seen in young people all around the world has reinforced my unshakable belief that we must put more trust in youth leadership and their efforts in changing the world. The frustration generated in young people that have no hope in the future is a major source of insecurity in today's world. And as the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has once said, our best hope to address the current global challenges is with the new generations. So we must do our best not to disappoint young people, but rather to support them and amplify their important work in creating a more just, equitable, peaceful and sustainable future for all in every aspect and at all levels. Thank you, and I wish you a fruitful forum. We also want to thank the UN Secretary General's Envoy on Youth for the message. Uh, 